All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of No One Survived. Hope everybody's having a great day. So last episode, we kind of got our vehicle messed up. Um, we started to try to kind of got into the gameplay loop a little bit, something I probably should have done like three episodes ago. Um, and we probably would have been doing a lot more meaningful stuff because now that I'm looking at like the, how you're supposed to progress through the game, um, I definitely wasted a lot of time. Uh, not really accomplishing much of anything, but things have kind of changed. I went ahead, I, I changed up some of the settings too to make the traders get their loot a little faster um, and, and stuff like that. But we went out, we did a run, we were trying to find some stuff for crafting. I did get my hands on like motor, um, we got uh, inverter here. We were gonna head back to base. I need to stock up on a bunch of arrows and we got to go out and. Uh, start acquiring more stuff. I'm actually going to make a list of goodies that I want to get my hands on. But again, I hope everybody is having a good night tonight or day, wherever you are in the world. <clears throat> uh, I might stop by D Ford merchant here though, to see if they, if his inventory restocked at all. No, I'll, I'll be playing uh, pal world tomorrow. Yeah. I was going through the list guys. Uh, Cause Caspi has been, complaining about all the survival games. I was like, oh, what, what, is it really that? And I, I looked at the list and I was like, damn, yeah, we actually, I think I had five, four or five survival games in rotation. I was like, whoops. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It was, it was, I, I didn't even realize it, you know what I mean? Because some of them kind of just blend in. But yeah, we had like Ark, we had Pal World. We had, right. What the fuck was that? That scared the fuck out of me, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. I literally just shit my fucking pants. Fix my pillow. God damn. That was unnecessary, dude. Oh, fuck. We're screwed. We're about to lose all of our gear. They all gotta be fucking sprinters. Are they, are they gonna come here too? Fuck me, dude. Ooh. 
Damn, dude, that, that was ridiculous. So where did we just die? It was up here. So at least we know they can't swim. Here we go again, though. No fucking clothes. Jesus Christ, man, that was ridiculous. Okay, so that was the uh, human enemies, the bandits over there. So it seems like we just got hit with those two hordes, and that was it. The skull went away, so I think we might be okay. I'm try to recover my gear if I can. cut down across the road. We're trying to bypass that shopping center down here. It's pretty crazy. Savage, what's going on? How you doing today? Yeah, so not how I planned on starting today. I highly doubt we're even going to be able to find my stuff, man. Oh, wifey's doing good. Yeah, she just went and got the kids from school. that zombie's whole fucking arm off, dude. So what we can do is craft up some spears, though. Now, I don't think I had anything super good on me gear wise. I think I minus like my armor and stuff um, and my clothes, but I know my shirt got broken. OK, 
Okay, so we were right up here. I kind of came up and then ran down a bit. It's gonna be so hard to find because we're looking for a gravestone chat. Like a cross. Oh, there it is. Ooh, good thing it stood out against the road. I would have never noticed that cross, man. See, my freaking jacket's broken, or my shirt broke. So we're still going to make our way over to the trader. No, no, we were we were we were assaulted by zombies. That's where that's where my clothes went, guys. Yeah. We weren't pulling an anzer. We were, g genuine reason why we were we were running around in our skivvies. Mobinator, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, we just got assaulted by a horde. And, uh, yeah, it was really bad. Okay, so we'll keep heading this way. Huh. Uh, so once we get over here, we're going to see if we can get a toolkit. Get the fuck out of me, dude. Why? Let's we'll see if we can get a toolkit. Then, uh, we're gonna head back to base, get situated, and start working on this damn tech tree. Well, I just recorded, uh, the reason why I actually started late today was I was trying to get everything cleaned up. I started, uh, I I did a recording for State of K2. As you guys know, I had a we had a lot to make up for in our uh, the previous episode, the guide that I was doing. Um, so spent that episode trying to trying to remedy that situation. I think people will like I think people will like the episode. Cub, what's going on? <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to have guys a car. Mm-hmm. 
Or a truck, yeah. yeah. Any kind of vehicle, motorized, preferably with uh, with four wheels. See, I listen, listen. I had one, but I, I a lot of people said, a lot of people even admitted that the way that I lost the truck wasn't my fault. They said a lot of people were calling BS on how I lost my truck. <laughs> The thing is, even if this place has a kit, I don't even know if I can afford one. Nope, just close. So adrenaline actually has good value. So I was able to trade the adrenaline for the military vest. Yeah, the adrenaline's really good for stamina. That probably would have saved my life uh, running from the zombies because, yeah, it does kind of give you infinite stamina for a while, but I really wanted this body armor, so... So this place had nothing that we needed. Uh, well... It had the armor, but I was looking for a repair kit. to get to the water side as smooth as I can without having to go through a ton of zombies. One scope equals whole shop. Really, Ravenous? Is that good? I'm hoping that we can get back up and moving. Um, I did change the loot drop rate. Um, I, I put it back up to normal, but 
I had to turn on loot respawn in order to get it to re like populate. But I don't think it's going to take effect until uh, until the respawn goes off. Vin, what's going on? Uh, the fam is doing good. We're all doing great. Unless the loot isn't generated until the moment the container opens. Then if that's the case, then the loot should be good now. Uh, Vin, I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. Showing support uh, means the world to me. Let's see, is there anything in any of this? Ah, here we go. Got a cigarette. I think you guys said the cigarettes help with your mood, right? Generating the loot is random algorithm on opening the container with... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that means my loot changes might have already taken effect then. intersection with my truck in it right yeah this is my truck intersection it's over there Yeah, so this will recrash right here. Hopefully it's not like stuck like Chuck. No, we got space. Yeah, as you guys can see, we'll we're gonna have to come back here and get this bad boy. So this side is cut off by the railroad tracks. Do I like Twix? Oh yeah, Twix uh, actually were one of my favorite candy bars of all time. Um, for a really, really long time. And then I kind of transitioned over to Butterfingers, and I thought Butterfingers were the greatest candy bar of all time. And then, uh, then they went ahead and changed the fucking recipe for the Butterfingers, and they made them, like, this weird peanut butter thing. I I still think, like, well, no bullshit, hashtag make Butterfingers great again, because whatever they did, I don't, I don't like it. It's not the fucking same, man. It is not the same. So they, uh, they changed the Butterfingers, and then I, now I like Snickers.
So yeah, now, so now I just mess with the Snickers. Cadbury caramels? Oh, they're too sweet, Sheldon. I used to love those when I was a kid. I can't even mess with those things, and they're so sweet. Uh, I'm probably going to do Enshrouded and Pale World tomorrow. I'm going to probably try to get those both in one day, that we could just have, like, our survival day. So we just follow this down. We'll be good. Paydays, bay, uh, the Bay Roots are good. Like, yeah. So I mean, there's really a lot of great candy bars. I used to really like the Crunch bars, but. Um, I don't know, they're just, I feel like they taste different. I don't know if it's just because I got older, my taste buds changed. But when it comes to, like, candy, like, the goaded candies, in my opinion, I like, I really like gummies. You know, so, like, gummy bears, freaking like, Sour Patch Kids, Mike and Ike's. Like, that's the shit I really, really enjoy. Laffy Taffy. All the Laffy Taffy flavors except the banana one. I'll eat the banana one if I have to, but it's not. I won't go out of my way to eat the banana one. Yeah, like gummy worms. Oh, a hairball. Yeah, the hairball mix is delicious. Straight. Absolute. I like Reese's too. Oh, yeah, Reese's. I actually just had some Reese's the other day. Laffy Taffy, now and later. Oh, yeah, those, those, those are some of the goatest. Honestly, you know what's actually one of the... I feel like it's a sleeper, Chet. It's a sleeper candy. The crispy M&Ms. Cause I don't, I don't fuck with regular M&Ms. I mean, like I, I don't, I'm not, not a real big fan. Yo, the crispy M&Ms though. Or the, the crispy ones or the, the pretzel ones. I think they have pretzel ones now, too. We're going to have a car, chat. We're going to have a car. You guys don't know about the crispy M&Ms? Oh, man. Yeah, they're like, uh, you gotta you gotta check them out. They're, they're they're delicious. I don't even know if they sound. They come in a blue, and like a blue wrapper. I don't even know if they do them anymore. I know they came out with I think some pretzel. I would think they're pretzel M Ms. I don't remember what the hell. Am I going to play Serum when it comes out? Yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out for sure. We played the demo. I enjoyed it. But it was too short, man. It's too short. The bazooka bubble gum? Oh, yo, bazooka bubble gum was the shit. It was so hard, though, man. It was so hard. You know what else is delicious, bubblegum wise? The Big League Chew. But you gotta get the grape. I don't know why, but the grape Big League Chew, chat, it just hits different. I don't know why. I'll eat the whole fucking bag, man. Just something about that. Like, I want some right now. My mouth is watering for the grape Big League Chew.
Yo, that zebra gum was, is, is pretty good, too. But you got to eat, like, three or four pieces at once for that gum to really hit. And then it just loses its flavor too fast. They don't sell big leagues. Oh, man, yeah, they got it all over the place where I live. I can go to a grocery store and buy a pack right now. All right, guys, so we're going to get back to base. Get our stuff situated. I'm glad we didn't lose anything. Uh, Chase, I appreciate the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. I think I might go up into the town today and do some looting, too. There she is. There's base. What do you mean? I don't know anything. I know all about getting Krispy Kreme fresh. Fresh. The problem with Krispy Kreme, right, when they're fresh, is I don't I don't know what it is. They're just so like. Like you eat them and they just they like disintegrate in your mouth. It, it, it's, it's crazy, um, but they're dangerous, man. Like I, I ate a fresh box of Krispy Kreme one time, and before I know it, I was I ate seven donuts. Didn't even notice. Ate seven donuts because they just melt. Um, got all these extra guns. I'm gonna have to get my inventory squared away again. Um, like where it's trying to snap so we're just going to do it ourselves now the downside is putting it here i'm not going to have access to my the top one unless i remove the roof but i mean having our skylight go all the way over it's kind of the meta anyways so shouldn't be too big of a deal if we have to move it over so we need planks and simple parts for that We really got no space. Damn, uh, is this really all the simple parts we have? I think that might be. Let me check out here. I had some ingots being made up. We're at five iron currently. Drop those in there. Oh, we gotta start a fire. It's probably not gonna be enough. I demolish. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. There we go. I 
Look, where the fuck did my simple parts go? I was just gonna build a chest instead. Oh, there they are. I see him. Right on the windowsill. It's like, dude, how did I lose my simple parts, man? Oh, we need some storage here, so. Armigale, thank you, thank you for the gifted and dropping the super chat. Keep forgetting. Congrats on 125k. Um, and we're not even out of January. I, I still can't believe it, guys. I don't even know what we started with in the beginning of January. But, uh, no, we've definitely been getting a lot of subscribers as of lately. It's It's been crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's definitely possible for us to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Okay, so we got that. Okay, inventory squared away. We are going to have to get a new bow. Just a snap here. Guess it doesn't matter. We could just offset it like this. Nope, not like that. Definitely not like that. I keep forgetting. Congrats on 125k. And we're not even out of January yet. Party popper. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what we want. Okay, so this is going to take eight logs. And we are getting thirsty. Now, you guys have been showing some crazy love, and the channel's been doing great. It's, it's just been an amazing time. It's not stairs yet, so... It, it really has. It's just been such an amazing time. Uh, I thought I had an axe. Thought wrong. I notice you kind of lose some stuff sometimes when you die. Alright, so we'll do a stone axe. Yeah, I got my 100k plaque from YouTube. Yeah, I showed that off a few months ago. Yeah, here soon we got the Sons of the Forest full release come going live too at some um, in February, right, chat? I don't remember what day. I think it might be towards the end of the month, but I know it's this. Uh, it's in February. One log just put 
put me over that far. I forgot about the whole backpack on the ground thing, but it was cool because we were we were we were walking, all cool and shit. There it is. So now we can just walk up in our base. Damn, I wish I would have put more of the ores or wood in here. Okay, so now we're gonna check. Oh, I can't put something in here. Got this. Oop. Wait, no, this. This one doesn't need anything. Oh, all right, so we're looking good guys. Um, I am going to make up a ton of arrows like a ton of arrows so We're about to go do the damn thing Just looking for stone and sticks. Someone asked me to name two structures that hold water, and I was like, well, damn. GG, that was pretty good. So I started breaking this up. Yeah, we're getting the sticks and the stones right now. You'd think Caspi would show up. Kai, what's going on? How you doing? Elder Scrolls 6? No. Well, I think the last Elder Scrolls game I heard of was Elder Scrolls Online and Skyrim. I don't know what number Skyrim was, though. Hey, Sarge Marine 75, brother, how you doing?
wonder if with the survivors in this game that you can like, save and recruit. I wonder if you can automate any resource gathering. Bunch of sticks. Let's go dump these. We're gonna hit all those rocks right there. Craft as many as we can. So having this open gives up. Damn it! I should. Um. Actually, let's hold off. Let's go get the rest of the stone first, and then we'll we'll do that with it open. That way we can get all the mechanic XP. Oh, no automated anything? Damn, okay. George, what's up, brother? How you doing? be the most arrows I'm going to produce. We're going to have to bring a couple of bows also. Alright, so let's go ahead, craft up these arrows. Alright, so we got to sit here on this screen, talk to chat for a few minutes while we do. Power just pretty much put to bed all the other survival type games. Yeah, Power World's like I said, I still think um, Enshrouded is pretty cool too, especially once I got into the flow of like playing as a mage and stuff like that. It, it's it's definitely really really cool. Also, but no, yeah, Power World is genuinely a very fun game. There was a, a lot of quality of life stuff that they put into that game that kind of got rid of uh, a lot of the grind. Because that's the thing about a lot of these survival games is they're very, very grindy. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, studios do that on purpose because they want they want you to continue to play the game. You know what I mean? And the grindier it is, within reason, the longer you're going to play it. So, uh, but Pal World, yeah, I mean, it, it's... Not as grindy. There's a lot of quality of life stuff in it. That that's quite nice. But one of my favorite features was being able to just craft out a chest immediately. I was like, oh my god, that's dope as shit. George, 18 months, brother. Thank you so much. A year and a half for me. Uh, glad to be here, bro. This community really is the best. Uh, guys, let's get those likes way up. I appreciate you, brother. Seriously.
Okay, so we're short sticks to do another batch. That's all good. Actually, not as many arrows as I thought I was going to have. Look at all this mechanics XP we're getting, though. Okay. Let's keep that in there for right now. Um, we're going to have to do up another bow and arrow. I never take anybody serious that says that stuff. Like, I know you guys, like, bust my balls about, you know, me killing dogs, but I know it's out of just fun, you know what I mean? Nobody's, like, dead-ass seriously mad. You know what I mean? Maybe there are some people who are dead-ass seriously mad, but we don't care about those people. But when it comes to, like, <laughs> video games, and I, we've actually had this discussion the other day uh, about, like, you know, killing things in video games, but those same people, they'll sit there and complain about, you know, the... Uh, in you know putting animals or whatever to work in a video game are the same people that will they'll 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 fucking enslave a thrall in conan and not say anything about it or they'll go mass murder a whole village in red dead redemption 2 or just randomly shoot people in the face and not say anything about it but then you kill a fake dog in the game and they're like oh my god what the fuck you just killed it's, it's like, or, or you know what i mean it's like bro but what about the twenty thousand people you just killed even though, you know, they're not, they're not real people, but you know what I mean? So it's just, I don't, I, anytime people say shit, I just ignore them. I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't care what you say, dude. <laughs> Drop that there. Oh, hold on, let me cancel that. I was trying to craft a new bow and it was making more arrows. Um, so we'll do, we're going to do, yeah, two bow and arrows should be enough. Uh, yeah, I want to finish the wheelbarrow. I need more parts. We need more simple parts. Uh, we got to get copper, aluminum, that whole shit going. So I think I might be able to do up a little bit of copper or aluminum. So we got some nugs there. And I have one copper bar, so I'll only be able to do one thing of simple parts. David, brother, no way, man. Holy shit, dropping the huge super chat, man. Uh, zombies were people once. How about <laughs> how about you play Lethal Zone without killing a single zombie, dude? Could you imagine? Could you? <laughs> could you imagine? Yo, that would be so hard. I'm not even lying. That shit would be so hard. Cause I would I would kill one. Oh, I do got more uh, copper here. I would kill one on accident, dude. You just you would just happen to hit one with your car, dude. I, I would honestly say that's probably close to impossible. You, obviously, you can't beat the game without killing a single zombie. I mean, I, I can't say it's impossible, because you could if you, uh... Because you only need to kill the play cards. So it is possible. Hard as fuck, dude. It, uh, I, I, I classify it. When it's that hard, I classify it as impossible.
Okay, so that's what we're working with right now um, for our ingots. Now we just gotta get, we gotta start working on some aluminum. Hey Brian, zombies were people once. How about you play Lethal Zone without killing a single zombie? <laughs> Lol, just oh, kidding. Silver. Have a great day. Oh, I can't do the aluminum ore. I, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, let me see. I, don't, I haven't learned it yet. Here it is. Oh, we need the metallurgy too. So if I'm crafting ingots while the the thing is open, will I get XP for that? Because, but these take forever in a day, man. You would have to sit here for ages staring at that. Like two minutes. Or do you passively just get metallurgy skill as you're crafting? No, because uh, again, so we haven't got any um, any credit for what we've already done. <laughs> That's going to hurt me. Use the small furnace. I mean, even that, that's still a lot of time. Like, look how long that's just going to take, man, cooking that up. I guess we could like peek in there right as it's about to finish, but that's still gonna take actual ages. Did you see them? That's just it. Uh, Horde Night Pass, uh, it happened literally right as the stream started, and I got I got destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Damn, I missed the damn one, the moment it actually fucking crafted. Are you kidding me? Damn, we got no XP for it. So you'd have to sit here with the screen open like this. In order to freaking benefit from it. I wonder how much we'll get. XP wise. Yeah, I wish they would change. That would one be one thing I wish they would change. Just give the person XP regardless of whether... Because having them have to stand there and stare at these things craft is actual not a good time. 
Like that ain't it. Wait, see, I got some metallurgy right there. Let's see how much we got, though. And I, we got, it was barely even noticeable, the amount of that, we, yeah, that we got. That's... I didn't even notice a change. I, I, yeah, I didn't see anything in the settings, Javier, for, for the, the crafting settings. Yeah, I was looking at the, 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 I mean, I also haven't looked specifically for crafting settings, but, um, this is what you can change. Permadeath, loot. I don't see anything uh, about crafting times. Better off finding a book, yeah, but that now now we're talking RNG, you know what I mean? Freaking RNG gods. Okay, we got a little bit more metallurgy there. And the gains we're getting are negligible. Like, I, that doesn't even look like it went up to me. All right, whatever. Let's finish out with some arrows. We're about to go on a huge loot run anyway, so... See how this all pays off. Yeah, it's annoying because I want to get this skill here or this technology for aluminum, but you need metallurgy too. Let me check my books real quick. So I had the metallurgy one book. Yeah, we have metallurgy one, we got metallurgy. Four. Cooking, tailing, engineering. Yeah, no, no go chat. E36, I appreciate that. Seriously, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. For real. Um. Yeah, so it is what it is. Let's grab these arrows and we're gonna we're gonna head out. Okay, we got tons of arrows. We got a couple bows. Um, I got we're gonna swap out for food, water. Also seeing humanity got a pretty nice looking update too. Oh, well, wanted to check that out at some point too. Now consume this. George with the gifted brother. Thank you so much, man. I you guys are showing that love to each other, man. I really appreciate it. 
All right, so we'll bring yep, hot chili, hot chili. There we go. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're going to swing by our trader here. Obviously, we're going to have to walk. It kind of sucks, but... Walk, we'll hit the trader real quick, see about the uh, repair kit, and then we're going to head into... Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll check for the repair kit on the way back, because I don't even have anything to trade that guy anyways. And we're also going to be looking for an extra backpack while we're in town, too. Lorenzo, what's going on? How you doing? Um, Kai asks, uh, is there any measurable difference in uh, YouTube's take between... No, no, so um, YouTube's take is the same across the board. So ad revenue, super chats, memberships, everything is the same across the board. Doesn't change. Um, so if you super chat $5 or you gift a $5 membership... Um, it doesn't change. If anything, I, I always tell people the gifted memberships are better because at least there's another person that benefits, you know, outside of just like me. You know what I mean? So that like obviously I benefit the same because it's the same amount, but there's also a third party, which I really do like that the idea behind that. But either way, it, 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 it's it, it's all awesome. So it's all just, it's up to you guys, you know what I mean? It just depends on how you like to show your support, you know what I mean? If you want to show support to just me, or if you want to show support to other people in the community also, um, it is flexible like that. Uh, so, Bill, it depends on your settings. So I, I had loot respawn off. I turned it back on so I could redo my loot containers. Um... But you could turn it on or off. It all depends. And you could set how many days um, before loot will respawn. It all depends on on how you want to do it. Do you also stream the State of the K2 gameplays as well? Um, so I, I I did stream a lot of State of the K um, Bala. So how, how it is is it all kind of just depends on what's going on in the State of the K community. Uh, if there's a new update and stuff like that, I'll stream State of the K. Uh, we just did uh, when the new update was announced, the curveball and stuff like that. I think I did like three or four different playthroughs. Um, Last year, in a row, it was like three months we were playing State of Decay. Uh, but I generally don't play it unless there's a reason to, because I've played it so much. Uh, so the videos that you see me releasing, that is the State of Decay content I'm doing on my channel right now. I am not doing any uh, live streams of it, because there's nothing for me to live stream, you know what I mean? Um, I would just be doing the same thing I've already done a hundred times over. Uh, that's why you, even games like this, you know, you'll only see me play them for like a little bit of time because once I start getting into that, okay, you know, I've kind of done what I wanted wanted to do and things are kind of getting a little bit repetitive and I can see a significant dip in the viewership. Um, that's when I'll call it quits on a game. State of the K always does well viewership wise, but I do start feeling like I'm kind of just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. But the crazy thing is, is how much State of the Cake content the community can really, like, digest. It's it's absolutely insane. I'm like, man, I, I question it sometimes. Like, you guys aren't over this? You know what I mean? Like, so many years later, you guys are still enjoying this?
Oh, you got an auto shop GTA 5 online thanks to the people in the server. Yeah, I mean, hey man, GTA Online is it definitely has the potential to be quite a toxic game. Oh shit, we got a cooking pot. We don't even have to craft one. Oh, I don't know why I'm grabbing all this fucking food. Okay, so we're full up right now on food. Got a bit, we still got a bit of space in our backpack. Those little bars there are so good, um, food wise. This place is just swamped with food. Nice, got a little bit of nine millimeter. Should get that on the belt right now. We haven't had a usable gun in a while. Refrigerator blueprint, all these blueprints we're going to need. Machining table, steel crafting. Take the tummy meds. Those medical kits are good. We just don't have a whole lot of inventory right now. Mechanics 3, grab all these books. Got a scar. Problem is, guns are like cool and all, but I already have so many fucking guns. Just no bullets, man. I'll hold on to it for now. Grab these gloves. Oh, here we go. We've got uh, small backpacks, large backpacks. So we'll grab one of these bad boys. And that's what we'll move with. Okay, so I'm going to dump some stuff in here right now.
Yeah, it should be good. Loving the state of care series. Uh, what day? Uh, I, I don't know. I just recorded episode six today. Um, so for the state of the case series, I'm, I'm releasing that about once every four, like about twice a week was my aim was to release about twice a week. Uh, so we'll grab this. Nice. More nine mil. Black pick so we can go back and hit that uh, safe. So yeah, I'm, I'm, my, my aim for that was about twice a week. And uh, so it'll be a few days before we release another one. Yeah, I mean, finishing that that cart would be nice. The the simple parts though are quite expensive. We're gonna have to go try to hit like a, a oil extractor. We gotta go hit some kind of location that will give us a lot of those. I don't know where to search exactly. Damn, that's a lot of fucking guns, dude. What the hell? They really try to make you feel some type of way, like you really struck gold. But then, oh, there it is, five simple parts. But all those guns really don't mean shit because there is no bullets in this game. <laughs> it's like once you have one pistol, you, you that's all you need. Because you just maintain the pistol. Hoping we find more books um, in the houses. I don't know if you could break down the guns for simple parts. Um, it's a good question. Could trade the guns, yeah, yeah, trading them for. To, that would be a, a good deal. Right now, I don't have the inventory to pick. I guess we might be able to squeeze those. Uh, I'm like looking for something specific right now, so it's like I'm trying to like baby my inventory. But those four guns might really be a nice bit of trade value. This stuff really extra, it would be really good to trade.
Uh, where the hell was that? Next to the bed here. Four handguns. pretty it's pretty packed in there guys it's pretty packed in there oh I forgot all about this damn scar Some kind of store over here. Master Mobile. Hopefully, we maybe we got some parts and stuff out of here. Toolbox. Advanced parts. Electronics. Clothing repair. Simple parts. Lock pick. Oh, I was supposed to go back and hit that uh that safe. Let's go do that real quick. I think that was in what the first house I checked. the safe was upstairs I believe it wasn't this building it was the other one this house Bullet production technology. That's necessary as hell. Hasn't been a bad haul so far, guys.
the seven simple parts right now. to hit these right yeah My car got dinked up pretty bad last time. We're, we're, we're trying to trying to get to the point where we can get our vehicle back. That's obviously the goals. But uh, yeah, we, we got it blown up last episode. I already got a fridge blueprint. Yes, okay. Making out nice right now with the simple parts. Ammo. Check this shed here. What is this spot actually? So garage looking thing. is pretty low. I wonder if there's a way to make it better. 
Because, man, I get like... I, 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 it's probably the better arrows are easier to recover, right? That's a good throw. Because we get almost no arrows back. I actually am infected. I got a, I got a little bit of the virus from that fucking. And I'm bleeding. was a hospital down the road. We could go check and see if we can get some antibiotics. They're dying pretty good right now. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, no, we just did San Andreas last night. Um, yeah, for... Tonight, uh, the game we're playing after this, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing yet. Um, I was thinking about checking out... Checking out something new that we haven't played yet. Um, because, you know, we just finished Resident Evil 5. We just finished a couple games, so we got... We got some space. Any viral. Here we go. I don't know if I. Yep, okay, that worked. And we got antivirals. Perfect, guys. Perfect.
They were all so fast. There was no outrunning them. I was running out of stamina, so I had to fight them. Do I play hack and slash? I played pretty much every type of game. Um, yeah, I'm willing to try and play anything. It just kind of all depends on what my audience wants to watch, which is all you guys want to see, and, and then we kind of go from there. So the good thing is I died right over here. That's why I kept running back this way. I was trying to get... I had actually had a bed that I could have sat as my respawn. I'm just kidding the fuck out of here. What the fuck is behind me? Let's go find my backpack. There it is. So we got enough uh, simple parts to do the wagon. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back, craft up the wagon, and we'll come back out. So when you die, um, you could set the game to permadeath if you really want to. Um, I believe it restarts the everything. But um, right now, I just have drop gear on death. And if you're not, if you don't get back to your body and stuff fast enough, it will your stuff will despawn. I think. Well, uh, you should check out the video of the game. I I, I seen a little bit of that video. Um, I don't think it's an actual game though, Joey. I think it was just some guy who was trolling and he made uh, like a little demo of it. I don't think it's something that you can actually buy and play though. Or... But he was like showing how you could take like the same assets that they used and uh, in the day before and he like made a better game in like no time whatsoever. I don't think I've seen the actual gameplay video, but I, re I remember, I think i just seen a video recently of somebody talking about the gameplay video. You lost all skills and tech. Oh, that's rough. I could not imagine sitting there. Like, it's like Zomboid, you know? You spend all that time grinding out your character, getting all those levels and shit, and then poof. Just all gone if you die. I remember my longest surviving Zomboid character was like five months. And uh, I was stacked, Chad. Yeah. We were hitting military bases. I had suppressed guns, tons of ammo. Uh, I remember I was I think it was Fort Redstone or one of the bases I was clearing them out pushing barracks and uh, Got a little too overzealous. I jumped through a window or went through got into like this narrow barracks hallway and just got swarmed I was like, oh my god I fucking lost the character I had for like five months. It was five months in game. Yeah, five months in game nice not sound like a lot, but 
um, but my day settings and shit, I was playing like uh, two hour days or something. It was a long time. It was a lot, a lot of hours. Yeah, it was the longest I ever survived in Zomboid. It was like five months. Let's see here. Um, no repair kit. He does have some bullets, though. I don't want to mind get my hands on. Yeah, he ain't having it, dude. Yeah, most antivirals are worth a lot, too. Oh shit, his inventory literally just respawned as I'm sitting here in it, chat. What the fuck? It's gonna be a lot to try to get up to fucking 285, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to pull some of this ammo. Um,
Yeah, the bullets are worth a lot, man. It's 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 hard. I mean, realistically, the nine mil and the forty four would be nice. The five five six I was trying to grab for like a pr new uh, primary weapon. Um, so maybe we can come back for the five five six on seventy two. <clears throat> I was gonna do the Desert Eagle, um, but I actually have some forty four, so I wanted to keep at least one of them. I don't remember. Do I? I, th I think I have. No, I think I have one back at base. Yeah, I think I have one back at base. We do these two. to bring us up to 169. One seventy-two. Okay, we're a little more. Dude, I'm like barely behind, bro. There we go. Okay, so we got that tra that trade done. We got a repair kit. Yeah. Oh, I had one more in my bag too. Okay, cool. Video game dev, his name is Crimson. He spent uh, 1500 to start developing the day after. Check out his channel named Crimson. I'll have to look at that, Joey. I uh, definitely have to check it out. Uh, Jason, uh, I've been playing this game for about 18 hours straight. I love it. Even watching you, I can't get enough of it. Uh, big hi from us. Uh, from the land down under in Oz, I appreciate the love and support. I hope you're having a great day. Yeah, we just got we just had a pretty big bake breakthrough. We got a, a repair kit, which means I could technically get my vehicle up and running again. Um, but we can also now get the wagon done. So I'm gonna grab that wagon. We'll go do another trip into the town. No, yeah, for sure, Joe. I'd definitely check it out, man. I, I was super excited for the day before, so anything along that line would be great. What do you make him for food? I've never played any Half-Life game other than the VR one. I'm gonna have to redo my storages here. 
These compressed biscuits are so good, though. Uh, Resource-wise, or uh, storage-wise, they're so small. Okay, so we got that squirt away. We blew through so many arrows, man. That's crazy. see here so we got the nine millimeter Grab, drink this. Oh, looks good. Okay, so we're gonna take these simple parts, go finish up this wagon. There it is. So let's see. Um, okay, so it's quite big. Thing is, we're gonna want to do some backpack storing on it. Now we got the metal pot. Which Yo, was... Brian, how's it going? How do you find this game compares with other classics such as Days and Seven Days? Um, so good, good question, man. So the game, I would definitely say, is creative direction wise and like features and what the game has in it. I would definitely say is on par with both of those games. I've not played this game multiplayer, so I can't speak on how the servers run. I can't speak on any of that. Uh, the only thing that this game has is that I would say that kind of knocks it back a few is is just some jank. You know, the zombie physics, physics in general. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll hit a bump and, you know, shit. So it definitely has some physics jank, which I feel like a lot of games do. Um, but ultimately it's definitely a lot of fun i would definitely say it's a game worth checking out if you're you know interested in the genre for sure but uh yeah no that does come with a little bit of jank zombies can be a little weird combat can be a little weird So I'm gonna put pot in there for right now. Store, uh, I got like no storage chat. This is crazy, man. All these damn guns, though. Right now, we'll store this stuff here. Uh, so how do we use this bad boy? Oh, okay. It literally just attaches to you. Okay, too easy. 
Look, Guru, again, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. Uh, what time is it? Five. We'll sleep for two hours. Beza, uh, is it enough for living streaming? Uh, yeah, you could live off live streaming. Uh, it just depends on the, on the stream. Some days are better than others, you know. Um, some have yeah, months. Yeah, some months are better than other months, you know. It, it all just kind of depends on uh, on what's going on, you know what I mean? And and, and how much of the grind you're, you're putting out. But uh, it, it all just really depends. You have some days, you know, you can make... 100 bucks 200 bucks shit we had those like crazy crazy days where people went off and donations were just mind-blowing um but and then you'll have days where you'll make two bucks you know what i mean it just kind of all just depends really on the on the day um viewership how many views you get all it all just so many factors that go into it The one thing I tell people, though, is never base your uh, income off of donations because people's situations, you know, it, it's very hard to upkeep consistent levels of donations. So if you're like, oh, you know, I got this, I got these people who always donate. It's like they're not always going to be able to donate. Um, and donations fluctuate so much. Like one month, you know, people... Might have went to the casino and what you know, and they had a really big. So if you base your 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 income off of donations, it's going to be very very hard for you to uh, to keep up with, and it's just going to change quite a bit. But uh, mainly just focus on your your ad revenue and stuff like that. Oh, no, you still have to play. You still have to pay tax on on even any type of donations. All yeah, because I, I was actually confused about that when I first started doing YouTube. I was like, oh well, if it's a donation that somebody's giving to you, you know, there was no sale, there was no transaction. It was just somebody being nice and giving you money. Um, do you still have to pay taxes on it because you know it's kind of classified as a gift or you know if you donate to a church, but uh, you know if like you donate to a church. A church doesn't, I don't know if they have to pay taxes on there. With, with how things are set up now, I'm pretty sure they do. Like any amount of money you receive that's over a certain amount of money, the, the government wants wants their peace regardless. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, even if you classify it as a donation, it, it still, you still have to pay taxes on it. You'd have to be a non-profit. Yeah, see, that makes sense. Yeah, like Crystal said there, you know, we've done a breakdown of, you know, because a lot of people do, they, they're aspiring streamers. They want to be content creators and stuff like that. And I want people to know exactly what they're getting into because, you know, you see the big guys out there making millions. And, and like when I tell you there's maybe like 50, 60 people in the world that make that kind of money, most average YouTubers who do really, really well make um, you know, what you could make just at a normal job. If, if <laughs> I think your average YouTube streamer that makes like 40, 50 grand a year, like, like not streamer, but like your top tier YouTubers would make probably like 40, 50, 60 grand a year. And, um, obviously that's good money. And that's not just playing video games. Um, just anything in general, but it's like, you could also just go out and get a job anywhere, making that kind of money for the, for the most part, um, without the validity that is YouTube. There's a lot of vol YouTube, YouTube can be very, very volatile and very unpredictable. Um, whereas if you have a normal job, you know, hey, I got this job. I'm going to make $22 an hour. You know what you're going to make going into it. Where YouTube, it's like sometimes you can make $2 an hour. Sometimes you can make $10 an hour. Sometimes you can make $100 an hour. It all just kind of depends. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I didn't even take into consideration um, when you start off, like taxes. Taxes are huge. So, you know, if you make a hundred bucks, you want to take good, you know, probably twenty percent of that and just put it to the side for say, you know, out of this hundred bucks, twenty dollars, I'm going to leave it aside for taxes, um, and then uh, 
fees and YouTube's percentage, they take like 30%. So right off the rip, if I make 100 bucks, I only made 50 because the other money has to go to other places. So yeah, it's... There's a lot of things that, you know, people don't take into consideration. The thing that sucks about this wheel thing is you can't jump. But it's, like I said, it's not just YouTube, guys. It's it's owning a business in general, you know what I mean? All business owners have to deal with the same bullshit, you know what I mean? It's not anything specific to YouTube. Um, any of you guys that own your own business, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's, um, taxes are a fucking monster. I, I, I was like, yo, I, I, you don't really real, like everybody, you know, that lives in America, um, we all know when, you know, you get your paycheck, you have to pay your freaking your federal, your state, your Medicare. And it's like, you get your $800 paycheck. And then at the end of your paycheck, you're walking away with like 600. You're like, fuck, man, I just like 200 bucks of my money just went to the government, you know, out of my check. And you feel it a bit when, when you're living like that. But I, I promise when you own a business and you have to pay taxes. Now, it was some shit. I was like, yo, how is this even legal? Like if I make 70 grand, right? Owning my own business. If I make $70,000, you legit got to pay like 20 grand. Like, just to the government. And I was like, for what? Like, the government ain't over here playing these video games, bro. Like, you know, I was just like, what do I got to give them, you know, so much money for? It, it, it just, it, it was mind-blowing. So it was something I had to adjust to and get used to. But now I kind of plan for it, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's shit, it's shit is crazy. I was asking people in the chat when I when it first like started. I was like, "Yo, what countries do you guys live in that I don't got to worry about taxes? Like, is there anybody I, where I can move and not have to pay taxes? Because <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man." Oh, Michael, thank you for the gifted, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Seriously. North Korea, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's insane, guys. And then, and, you know, when I was, I always wondered why, you know, all these, like, super, super rich people were always getting in trouble for, like, tax evasion and, and then I'm like, man, like, you know, in my brain, I didn't think on anything of it because you, you don't. But then it's like, imagine busting your ass, right? Like, imagine you own a business, right? And you bust your ass all year and say you make a million dollars, okay? And then all of a sudden you got to pay $250,000 to, uh, to taxes, a quarter of a million dollars, just gone. What? Or what, dude? <laughs> like, just because I made the money, I got to just get, no, that, that shit, uh, that, uh, that was something I just, I never grasped. I never understood. I wasn't educated on like, you know, how it works and, until I owned my own business, I was just like, yo, this shit seems fucked up, man. Like, now I understand why all these guys are sitting here try trying to do whatever they can, you know, to hold on to their money. Because the more you make, the more they take. No, I, I can tell you right now, Jacob, that the money I put in to my taxes do not support what I do whatsoever. Not even a little bit. No. <laughs> I've seen America's GPD, dude. <laughs> I'm not a fucking idiot. Because you got to think, the people that are, like, my internet service, you know, my, my electrical, like, all that stuff, somebody else is paying taxes for all that shit. 
You know what I mean? Spectrum is is paying taxes on the money they're making on me for me to have in it. it it's a, it's a loophole, man. It's it's crazy. Yeah, it's just, it's just it's crazy, man. Definitely makes you appreciate things a lot more, though. I'll tell you what. Yeah, because you live here. That's it. That's it. That's the real reason. It's just because you live here. I heard England is pretty bad, too. Yeah, I heard England is quite bad. Um, with theirs also. In Estonia, I pay almost 50 per samosa. That is fucking insane, dude. Thank you for the super chat, though, man. Holy shit. Okay, so we're going to hit this area up. I've never really looted this area like that. You pay a tax to own a TV in England? Jesus Christ, dude. Finland is 47%. Holy shit. But a lot of those countries, you guys have the, um... The fuck is that shit called, guys? You guys have the, uh... God damn it, the, the universal healthcare, right? You guys get all the free healthcare and shit. I think that's why you guys pay a lot more money, though. Is because you guys get a lot more out of your... Your stuff. But I think, I think you guys have the universal healthcare. I don't remember. And free college and shit like that. This area's pretty chill right now. I'm, I'm, we're chilling right now, guys. Coal, aluminum nuggets, yes. Iron. Aluminum, iron. So the toolboxes, guys, what are these even, like, outside of crafting that, I'm, I'm going to grab a couple. Um, outside of crafting the, whatchamacallit, the, um, the workbench, like, do you use the, the, you use those to craft benches and stuff, right? Yeah, I think the highest tax you pay in America, even if you're like a multi-bazillionaire, I think it's like 30-something percent. Almost everything requires them. Okay, I'll start I'll start grabbing them. Because I, I, I kind of was thinking that they were meh. And I wasn't... <laughs> also, you seem like a great guy. I appreciate your service to our country. I, Joey, I appreciate that, brother. Seriously, thank you so much, man. <laughs> Well, see, guys, I feel so much better now because I told you guys this before. In the military, right, um, when you're in a city situation, when you're in Afghanistan, humping around, sucking in the mountains, and you're just going through it, you know you can look to your left and right, right? And you get your boys are right there sucking with you. And as much as you don't want people to be going through as long as it's, I don't know, it's like a comforting feeling knowing you're not just the only one going through it you know what i mean and, and, and you have other people that you can relate with and talk i feel better knowing that you know it's not me just just getting robbed everybody else is getting robbed also and some of you guys are getting robbed even worse than i am so there it is dude i mean granted i pay that youtube tax though so i pay 50 percent. yeah i pay the u.s government i gotta pay that youtube tax but hey every everybody's going through it we're all going through it together dude <laughs> We're all going through it together. <laughs> Only way to win on taxes to have more kids. I, I got I got a troop right now, man. I got I got three whole kids, man. Hmm. Yeah. 
thank you. So these stores really don't have anything all that great. <laughs> Rookie numbers. <laughs> Got to get that troop up. I'll right, we'll put that like that. Now it was nice though, because I mean, I used to look forward to tax time. You know, as a as a W two employee. Every year, guys, I would, uh, you know, it was kind of like saving money almost. You, you go, especially once I had like three kids, man, I would, I was getting like six, seven thousand dollars back from income tax. Um, it was freaking awesome. Oh, here we go. Perfect. So we're gonna grab these backpacks, we're gonna load these up. Yeah, I, I was getting like six, seven grand back, and it was a pretty jarring feeling going from, you know, my whole life for the most part. I was getting like thousands of dollars back from, from my, my income tax to like being like, oh, you owe 20 grand. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I didn't even know you could owe money. Okay, so, so far, not really all that great loot in these little storefronts here. It's kind of just like clothes and shit. But I was wondering if we could find like high tier clothing. Or if it's only like military locations, you'll get like the military gear. Yeah. Uh uh, Army Miguel, I, I um, I got I got hit with that same thing. Yeah, they changed the way the tax, uh, income tax worked in your paychecks, and uh, all of a sudden, yeah, my, I, I remember, my paycheck. All of a sudden, I, I wasn't paying any federal tax. Like my federal tax literally went down to like zero, and I was like, what? That makes no sense. Like, how is my paycheck? Up? And I thought there was something wrong, you know, but I, I wasn't questioning it. I'm like, hey, dude, you know, if they only want to take $14 a paycheck so, or $8 a paycheck for federal taxes. It, and I didn't say anything. And I went like eight, nine months like that, just paying like nothing in a federal. And it was because they did. They changed the way that you your, dedu your deductions work. So I always claimed four. Uh, four dependents you know my my wife and three kids always always claim four and but when they changed it if you still claimed four it was like a way big deal like you would be like almost close to nothing uh after they changed it and it yeah it, it ended up screwing me up pretty big man that shit screwed me up so bad Tax time came i owed like four grand i was like what the hell I went to, uh, I think it was H&R Block or one of those. And I'm like, dude, can you tell me what I did wrong? And he explained it to me. I was like, oh, my God. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true, dude. Um, We'll grab the seeds. So now I'm a firm believer in if it's too good. To, oh, gun shop. Let's go hit that for ammo. If it seems too good to be true, chat, it usually is. 
It usually is. Now, can you fight? Oh, you can fight with this thing on you, too. <laughs> How do taxes work for YouTube? Uh, same as any uh, business. Uh, you know, like, say I make... Um, 60,000, you know, they just kind of factor in how much you made for the year. Um, and then, you know, then they apply that to some kind of percentage of like, oh, you got to pay 24% of however much money you made, something like that. And it'll end up being like 24% of like 60,000 or whatever. Like it, it's, ooh, that, those things suck. But yeah, it's, it's just like any, any, uh, Business owner. Okay, so let's get in a position here. Run away. Bitches. Fear me now, chat. Except this one. She didn't get the memo. So many shots. to Puerto Rico. Yeah, I mean, I don't make that much money for me to be considering anything like that.
How long does that alarm go off for, dude? Alarm is done. Got a K. Mainly here. Oh, we got an M4. But we're here mainly here for the ammo, guys. I got I got guns for freaking days, man. We just need bullets. Complete. Oh, a little bit. One arrow left. We could try to find a... I seen a police station somewhere. I don't recall where it was exactly. Yeah, I'm not worried about grabbing the arrows because the thing is, even when you grab them out the wall, they still break. Like 90% of your arrows break. Um, so we're just going to switch to spear and gun. Number one, the mobile stores might be able to get some more. Uh... Some more of the parts out of here. Seriously.
like I'm hitting fucking headshots, dude. Nothing. All right, let's get these spears crafted up so we can save a little bit on bullets. Damn, so the gun did break down quite fast there. Pissing out zombies. <laughs> Hold on one sec, guys. Yeah, no, nothing here that I'm really interested in. We're interested in bullets, guys. That's what we want is bullets. I think somebody before said the police station is your best bets for bullets, right? There's obviously got to be a police station in this town. It's just a matter of where. And then work, making my way through these buildings, these city streets, is just tons of zombies. So I'm kind of trying to skirt the outskirts to see if we can spot one. Yeah, I died here before on the other side of the city. Just got a fuel jug, too. Motel's gonna have decent bullets. Do I find these games at? Uh, you guys. Yeah, viewers, you know, just be like, hey, man, have you ever heard of this game? And I'm like, nope. And then I check it out. Yeah, but a lot of the games that you see me play are viewer recommendations. I'm 
We'll cut down this main road here. Ridiculous. I'm actually infected. I don't have any antibiotics. There was a hospital down the way. Damn it. We're gonna have to head back over there real quick. Tobias, how you doing? Iris Tass, thank you, thank you for the gift, and I really appreciate that, man. This land is my land. I, I played that one on the channel. Actually, that was my first ever viral video on my my my, uh, my channel was uh, this land is my land. Game just absolute that the that stream just absolutely went bonkers. And it wasn't even a good freaking episode either. I was like, I had no clue what the hell I was doing half the time. Like, it, was, it was bad. Yeah, it was my first ever viral video. Yes, so use the antibiotics. Oof. Got some more and adrenaline there. Yeah, bullet situation isn't too good right now. 
Okay, we got a bunch of shots and stuff just in case we get infected again. I'll eat one of these. Oh, I think my cart. There it is. Maxwell, how you doing? Uh, what do you think would be your chance of surviving a zombie outbreak? Zero, dude. Yeah, 100% would not survive. I got too many kids, man, and people I need to protect. I'm instantly going to probably get eight trying to help them out. Hey, Patrick with the Super Chat, man. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, best, uh, best streamer, definitely best chat. I appreciate the love, dude. So I wanted to go and hit uh, a police station. I, I don't know where one is. We're going to have to do some research on where one is in this town. I know where the one is in this town. So getting our car probably be... Ideal. Ah, uh, damn! I don't. I don't consume alcohol. Period. Yeah, I, I don't drink or smoke it. I used to smoke cigarettes, and then I quit that for dipping, and then I quit dipping and vaped, and then I quit. Va I just quit altogether. Quite a few years ago. North side of town. I feel like I saw one in this town when we were driving. We drove past it and it said police station, big building. It was tough, you know, because like, I, I, cigarettes and smoking and nicotine was like my coping mechanism from when I got back from like Afghanistan and stuff. It was, it was definitely like my, one of my things I did to cope. But, uh, once I started having kids and stuff, I didn't want to smoke around my kids. That, so that's why I started dipping. Um, and then uh, I, I dipped for quite a few years, but then it started fucking up my teeth and my gums. And I was getting freaking sores and all this other shit. So I stopped doing that. I was like, fuck this. Um, and it was expensive. You know, I, I, I was going through two cans of chew in a day. Like dipping was, is, and it was just... No, you can just have, and it was just the amount of nicotine that you consume when you chew is just a lot. But yeah, I was going through like two cans of chew a day. Um, and I was like, man, this is expensive. So that's when I started, I, I got into vaping because, but that was even more expensive. So I was like, fuck this, I quit. <laughs> I quit, man.
Max, I'd throw, I'd throw some fat lips in and I would just keep them in for like an hour and a half and spit it out and within 20, 30 minutes I'd have another fucking huge lip in and just, I pretty much just had a lip in all day, like just consistent. I quit smoking with the, um, this last time, what I used, I, I, the, the nicotine patches actually work quite well. I used those for um, the first couple of times I stopped smoking, not quit, uh, but I stopped. And the longest time I ever did stop, I did the, the full blown nicotine patch. Uh, you know, I started with the 21 milligram, went down to the 14s and then down to the seven. I did the whole program or whatever. And it worked, you know, I stopped smoking for like a year and then uh, I was doing construction and Fucking people were around me smoking, and I was like, oh, let me have one, you know, just fucking smoked one cigarette, and it'd be something I did maybe once a day, then that once a day turned into me freaking smoking every day I was at work, and that, you know, I was coming home, my wife didn't know I started smoking again, so I'd like park around the corner, smoke a cigarette, and like spray, it was like this whole fucking ordeal, and then I eventually just got fully blown back into smoking. But I actually quit um, with camel snus pouches. Um, I bought a, I bought a tin of them, and I would only allow myself to. I would only. Oh, this is gonna suck! Wow, good shooting. Um, but what I would do is I would, I wouldn't do any, no dip, no anything. I would wake up in the morning because generally you get the cravings really, really bad. Like when you wake up, um, when you eat and stuff like that. So, um, what I would do is I'd wake up in the morning and I'd be craving chat. I'd be like so bad. So what I would do is I would sit there and I would wait until it was practically unbearable. Like, you know, I'm sitting there like, oh my God, dude, I really need like a smoke or a dip or something like that. So, and then I'd put it in. You know, a couple, you know, a minute goes by, you get that huge nicotine rush, you feel really, really good. And then as soon as the craving went away, I'd instantly take it back out and I'd just put it back in a tin. And I, 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 and I would just do that. And I would, I would only put it in when the cravings were like unbearable. And, um, I, would, I just kept doing that over and over again, and I just tried to, you know, build up some self-discipline and just fight the urges as long as I could. And eventually, I got to the point where, yeah, I'd go days and days, and then I started noticing I'm only doing it because I want to. Like, you know, I, I, I've obviously went three days without it. I could go another day, you know what I mean? And eventually, I just stopped. I had, um, it was camel snus, it snus pouches, They're like these little white pouches. Um, you don't got to spit or anything. You can just swallow the stuff it doesn't upset your stomach or anything and that, that's what i did and it kind of was just i was building up that resilience that mental resilience to try to be like you know i don't really need it but for the first like two weeks i was actually using the pouches pretty pretty consistent but i also had a, i really wanted to quit you know what i mean because financially i was just it was so much money um you know and i was like i'm doing it for my kids you know i want, I want to be able to do it for them so I just, I just fucking did it. And I just quit. Cause so I kept telling myself, oh, you know, I'll quit when this or I'll quit when this. And just kept dragging it out, dragging it out. Exactly, David. It, quitting isn't the, it's the actual, you know, if you quit because somebody else wants you to quit, that shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. You know, my wife didn't like me smoking. She she hated it. She hated me vaping. She hated me dipping. You know what I mean? Um, she, but 
quitting because she wanted me to never would last. Then all that would turn into is I would hide it from her. You know what I mean? I would just do it when she wasn't around. I would just hide it, you know. But until I was like, you know what? I want this for myself. Like, I want to actually stop. Um, until you get to that point, you're never, you're never going to want to quit. You're just going to, you're going to sneak it. You're going to, you're going to always find a reason to keep doing it. Um, you know what I mean? If you're just somebody who doesn't give a fuck, I mean, do what you want to do. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's, you actually got to want to quit if you're actually going to quit because like I said, doing it for another person, you just end up trying to hide it from that other person. I mean, I still get cravings, like, random. You know, I haven't smoked since, what, was it 2019 when I quit? It was 2019. Yeah, it was, like, 2019. Uh, it was before I did YouTube. Uh, I quit. Yeah, so it was, it was like, yeah, so it was had to be in 2019. Huh? Uh, maybe it was 2018. But, uh, yeah, I, I just I didn't want to do it no more. I was just like, screw this. I freaking, and I just quit one day. But I still get random cravings. Like, it'll just, I'll be sitting there and I'm like, just, you just get a craving. But I, it doesn't really do anything. I just kind of shut it off now. But, yeah, it's, it's wicked weird, you know, even years after. Uh, what gets me is when I smell somebody smoking a cigarette. Now, if you smell somebody, like, the smoke on somebody, if somebody that comes inside from, like, a smoke break, nauseating. I'm like, bro, you fucking, like, you smell so bad, dude. Like, but it's the smell of the smoke coming off of the cigarette. Like, if somebody just sat there with a burning cigarette, you know the smoke that comes off it. That shit, I, when I smell that, I'm like... Oh my god, you know what I mean? It smells so good. But. Yeah, I, I hate that. Walk past somebody smoking and there's. It, it just like fucking sets you off, man. It's like. Start foaming at the mouth. Damn, those gloves actually hung out for a really long time. Alright, we did well, guys. We did well on that loot run. Not really. A ton of great stuff but it was it was all right run uh we got some guns we had some ammo and then we shot most of it but we did get some stuff here what i what we need to do is go get our car um getting our vehicle or it's right down here in this intersection so cut down swim and grab our vehicle uh that that's what we need to do that's definitely what we need to do But I drank pretty heavy, too. I was a pretty big drinker when I got back from Afghanistan. That was another big coping mechanism of mine was drinking. And, uh... I mainly, I drank to go to sleep. You know, because it was just, it was hard for me. I'd just lay there for hours and hours and hours. I could never fall asleep. Um, so I would drink and, you know, get pretty, pretty messed up and I'd be able to fall asleep. And then, uh... Problem with that though is you wake up in the morning still fucking drunk for PT and uh, yeah, NCOs didn't like that too much. They they you know they cut you some slack for the first month or so you're back. Um, they didn't really give us a hard time, but uh, after the first couple months you're back, yeah they're like all right dude, stop showing up to fucking PT drunk, or you know and and a lot of us were getting in a lot of trouble for it. So we had to find other ways to go to sleep. So then I started freaking drinking Nyquil to go to sleep. Uh, cause, you know, it, it didn't leave you without, but then it, it, it was just one problem led to the next, to the next, to the next, and I, I was just kind of putting band-aids on what the real issue was, which is, you know, post-traumatic stress and all that stuff, but yeah, it's fucking, it, it was rough, but yeah, I, I just, eventually I just, once I addressed the problem, you know, of what I was struggling with, I was, I was cool, you know what I mean? It was... I was able to, uh, you know, finally go to sleep and, and shit like that, but... Was she here?
Let me hit your arm, baby. Hold on one sec, guys. Oh, daughter bumped her arm. Yeah, we gotta get it. Uh, where the hell did I put that axe? Grab this. Yeah, because the problem with drinking um, and alcohol, the, the main issue I ran into was, you know, at first it wasn't bad, you know, because I'd drink like five beers, four or five beers, and I'd go to sleep at night. And it was it was chill, you know. I'd, it's, actually, when it first started, I'd drink like three. I'd maybe drink like about three beers every day. You know, I'd buy a six pack, it'd last me like two days. Um, I'd drink like three beers, give you a nice little buzz, boom, I'd go to sleep. But then that that three beers turns into, okay, well now I gotta drink a six pack just to get that same feeling. And then it turned into a case. And then I'm fucking sitting there trying to drink, you know, full case of you know, fucking beer. So then the beer's not doing it. So then you're like, well now I gotta drink some liquor because the beer's just not enough, you know? So then you start drinking liquor and it's just, it's just nonstop, nonstop. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And before I know it, I'm fucking sitting there going through a whole 750 milliliter bottle of fucking whatever the hell I could afford uh, just to get that that same uh, feeling to be able to go to sleep and yeah it was just it's too much So that should burn long enough. So we gotta find out where to mine copper and where to mine aluminum, guys. That's gonna be our, our next goal. We're gonna get our vehicle. We gotta figure out where to where to mine copper and aluminum. Nate, uh, man, like realistically, does like stopping drinking, man. It was it was rough, dude. Like, it, it was really fucking rough, man. Like, you just, you just stop. Like, as stupid as that sounds, you literally just stop and you suffer, bro. Just go through it. It's going to be bad a couple weeks, you know what I mean? It's, you're going to feel like shit. You're going to be fucking irritable and nobody's going to want to be around you. But you do eventually hit this point where you start feeling better than you ever did. And that that's all it took for me was, you know, once I got through the suck and actually started feeling better and I was like oh man you know this is nice you know but you also gotta you gotta get to the root of why you're doing it in the first place but yeah I, mean, I ask people all the time like hey man you, know, I, you quit smoking like holy shit dude like what'd you do to stop and I'm like I just I just stopped dude yeah, I just fucking said no more I don't want to do this anymore But it's, it's fucking tough. It'll be one of the toughest things you ever do. But when you come out the other side, but, you know, have a reason. Have, you got to have something, you know, you're doing it for too. You know, for me, I, I, I did everything I want for my kids. You know, I wanted to be here as long as I can for them. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that I'm here and I can support them and be good. Because, you know, I grew up around my father was an alcoholic. He fucking used to beat the shit out of me and my little brother and fucking beat the shit out of my mom and all this other shit. You know what I mean? So I just never wanted to be like that. You know, not that I ever did anything like that, but I, I never wanted to be potentially that person. And, um, yeah, I didn't want my kids to be like, oh, my dad's always fucking drunk. You know, come home. Like, oh, be quiet. My dad's sleep on the fucking, on the couch. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be that person, you know, for my kids. So I just, I just tried my hardest, you know, to overcome it and better myself. You know, it was, shit's hard though. Guys, this shit is fucking so hard. 
Yeah, I mean, if, if somebody ever sits there and just, oh, bro, just quit, you know, like, the, the, uh, those people don't know what the fuck to talk about, because it's not that easy, you know, it's, you can't just, just quit, you know, if you could, then I'm pretty sure everybody would just quit. Um, but it's obviously the people that, that, you know, they're not in that position, they, they don't know what you're going through, and they're always the ones that are like, oh, just stop, dude, if you wanted to, you would just stop, and it's like, no, no, trust me, it's not that fucking easy, but... Like I said, you gotta want to do it for yourself. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to go get a car, guys. That'll be my next goal. We're gonna end this episode here, and my face is bloody as shit. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go get our car, we're gonna get our, our... Toolkit. We're gonna head out, get our car back, probably try to get some gas. Um, we'll see how it goes. But thank you guys again. I really appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing this series. Um, I'm surprised how many of you guys are still even watching this. It's crazy the support that you guys have been showing this. But we'll see. Um, you know, if you guys want more, just smash that like button. We'll definitely keep it going. I, I really didn't get anything done towards the technologies today, like at all. Dude, like it was, it was kind of bad. But because of the books. So we got to figure out a way to like really hit these books hard, man. Because that shit is so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, we got to get, you know, electrical and metallurgy and shit like that. So more looting, more books. And uh, we'll go from there, guys. But holy shit, Goot. That is a huge, huge super chat, man. Uh, huge respect, bro. I fought the booze demon for years until you're right. I finally said I don't want it anymore. Uh, but by then it was too late. I found an, uh, I found a way, and now I'm uh, no longer a slave to it. There it is, dude. Um, you had it way tougher, bro. That is no small cheap. Hey, man. Hey, hey I wouldn't say uh, anybody had it way tougher, man. You know, we all go go through the same struggle, man. Like stopping is stopping, man. You know, it, and we all have, might have our different reasons for doing it, but I, I would say stopping is. It's the same. It's the same for everybody. That shit fucking sucks. Dude, it really does suck. But uh, I'm glad to hear that. Go. All of you guys who have also overcome that. Hey, man, congratulations. Because that shit, you know, that shit's not easy. And for those of you guys who are still in that dark place, hey, listen, there there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Because uh, I remember when I was at my lowest chat, you couldn't fucking tell me nothing. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear what anybody had to say. I, it was just bullshit. Huge respect, bro. I fought the booze demon for years until, you are right, I finally said I didn't want to do it anymore. But by then, it was too late. I found a way and now I am no longer a slave to it. You had it way tougher, bro, and it is no small achievement. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. But yeah, um... It's tough, guys, but I promise, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Even at my, my lowest, you know, I, where nobody could tell me nothing. I, I, I didn't believe anybody. I was just like, no, nah, it's bullshit. I didn't even think there was a problem, honestly. Like, I was like, what the fuck do you guys care if I'm drinking? It's me, you know, like, what is it, you know? I didn't really see an issue with it. Uh, but once I started getting sick and all that, yeah, it's, trust me, there's shit fucking sucks. But I love you guys. Um, thank you so much again for coming here every day and you know supporting the hell out of me uh we're gonna be doing one more stream tonight and uh yeah i appreciate every single one of you guys it, it, it means the world to me for what you guys do for me and you know we all i want to see everybody back tonight we're gonna be playing something new chat it's nothing crazy but uh shout out to you guys who are here we're gonna be playing i want to check out that sniper elite 2 or not sniper elite 2 um Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. Uh, we, we started, we beat Sniper Ghost Warrior 1. Now I want to try the second one. I want to shoot some faces. Yeah, no sticks, Harmigel. Just bullets and faces. Lots of faces are going to be shot tonight. <laughs> all right, but I love you all. You all have a great rest of the night if I don't see you in the next stream. And uh, remember on your way out, if you haven't, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ooh. Mm -hmm.